God, that's the wrong monitor. I need that one. Okay. okay, we're good. My monitor was wrong, so something was going on with my monitor. I wasn't capturing my monitor. So I had to fix it. It's weird. Okay. Oh, it's a Joel. Oh, not doing it. Hello. Yes, I'm back on Twitch here. Hello. Be oh, careful. Fish. Don't yell at me. Need help? Farewell. Well met. See you around. Three fucking fifty. Okay. one I don't have that I have to wait for my stupid hearthstone is uh I have to go buy rhino dogs I don't have any or just farm rhinos yeah. in Skolazar since I have to go to Skolazar I might just do that just to get the four what do I need Sun crystal and shadow crystal. have my chef's hat. I need two more. Two more and I get my chef's hat. Two more. If there's any mines. So, today is the last day for... Joyous, uh, Wonders, I think. And, uh, Joyous Journeys, or whatever it's called. Um. Oh, until January 16th? I thought it was the 9th, bro. So I have plenty of time to level still. Dude, 
Dude, I thought it was the 9th or the 10th or whatever. It's not until next week. I can't kill it. My bad. That's okay though. If we can get into Hellfire, that'd be amaze balls today. I literally leveled from 51 to 56 yesterday, no, not knowing that the stupid buff is there until the 16th. I thought it ended tomorrow. So I could have, like, not leveled yesterday. is down today, so we can't play that. Um, Final, I will be doing Final Fantasy tomorrow for story time, um, and all the new shit that's coming out with it. Uh, yeah. We're gonna play some Anno today, cause I've been one, I've been itching to play Anno for some reason. So that is what we are going to play a little later. But if I can get to like 58 or even 60. Then I'd at least be in um, Outlands. Oh, this is a water one. Just trying to get to school with ours so I can do the uh, fishing quest and then go kill rhinos. My Serenite, leave me, leave it alone. So rhinos are over here. But let's do fishing because that can take, uh, that can take more. That can take longer. Okay. 
So I ended up doing a shit ton of <coughs> working on my professions last night on my other priest. And uh, I had to spend some gold because I kept not. Oh, I got it. Um, kept running out of cloth, so I had to keep, keep buying mage weave and silk for like the longest time. Now I'm on rune cloth, so now I'm Gucci. I know I can get rune cloth in the uh, in health Hellfire, so. I'm uh, good on that. I need to. F I need to grab rhinos. Sorry. Or wait 19 minutes. But it's easier to just grab rhinos. Oh look, a serenite right in front of my face. Easier for me to just kill rhinos real quick. If I can find them. I think they're over here. I need to get closer. Maybe. I don't know the drop rate on Rhino me. So they don't drop 100%. That would suck. I literally just need four. You know what? I'm gonna just use my priest, go to auction house, and just buy four, and then mail it to myself. The joy of having more than one character. All right, let's uh, head back over instead of farming this shit. The joy of having more than one character. I'm gonna work on Oracle dailies again soon. Titanium is what I need. Oh, we own this. I can just take the portal. Make this so much easier myself. Why do I keep making things harder myself? Oh, hey, look, I'm here. Back. So let me which do this one because I forgot the hearth last night when I was on when I was doing it. Gotta make sure to her. When I look up a rhino. Yes, 
see, I was looking up a bunch of shit. Yeah, I know. Oops. Well, it's cheaper to just buy this. I'll buy six or eight. No, 16. No, 12. 4, 8, 12. I can't do math. But it's okay! Oh, I forgot I gotta log back on there and hearth before I go on the other one. Oh, we're back! Go to priest. What is this priest? That's priest. We can get our chef's hat. I think we can. Are we? Oh, we have 101. Let's go get the chef's hat. Fuck it, finally. Yay. Another achievement down. I want to make sure I got all these first, which I think I do. I do. Look! Chef's hat! Achievement! Yeah. I like getting achievements, so I like going after stuff. And that's, that was easy, you just had to do the daily every day. But guess what, it's going in my bank.
Okay. We had to get back on here anyways. Grab all this stuff. Alright, I'm turning my sound off on my phone. So I don't look at my phone. So, phone is on silent. I don't know what's going on with my phone right now. So. All right. So we are in winter spring. By the way. And we are trying to do some quests in winter spring, but we have to go to Fairless. to go to Gadgetan and then go to Fairless and um, do a quest for Winter Spring. Spring, yeah, all this is winter spring. This is a uh, plague land shit. Um, we're gonna go to western plague lands and eastern plague lands, but uh, I'm gonna finish. There's not really much in Winter Spring right now, so we're just gonna try to do that, and then Eastern Plaguelands is a bitch, because most of it is killing things. I have to slay 20 things, and 5, and 5, and most- Eastern Plaguelands is a bitch to do. So that's why we're in Winter Spring. Hopefully, hopefully. We can stay in winter spring. So why we're doing the random quests that uh that I can do. If that makes sense. Cause that's I've done. Oh, I gotta go to Fairless for that quest. Ooh, okay. So. 
so I have to go here. So we're gonna have to fly to. <clears throat> this place to go do that quest. Um, there's really no other zone to be honest. If I mean I could do Blasted Lands, but they're green. I could! But I'm trying to stay away from Blasted Lands for now. Trying to just do this stuff first and then see where we are when we're done, when we every all this is completed. I'll probably end up going over there to just complete these. Because it's like 6k XP. That's a another dungeon quest. Okay. Wee wee. We have a long run. We gotta go the whole way up here. But it's okay. That's a lot of dungeon quests. I, we could dungeon. We could do a uh, sunken temple. No, we can't. Um. Yeah, we can't do any dungeons. So it's okay. We're gonna quest for 50 million hours again. Then play Anno. So we're gonna get to 58, get to Outlands, maybe quest a little, and then play Anno. Just gotta hope that, uh... Yeah. Depending on the time and how long it takes me to get to 58 is the thing. guild somehow. Is anybody even online? Um, I think this is grim. I, can, I keep getting random fucking guild invites and I'm tired of it. Hi. So far away. <laughs> Wee, 
still so far. Why? Because then I have to go... What is this? Desolus? Oh, I might just run there and grab the flight path and then fly to, uh, that's gonna be a long flight, though. Prepare to be on the long flight! To Fowood. Get in there. Um, how do you get inside? How do you get inside? get in there. So I, I, I came here for nothing because I don't know how to get in there. Nothing's even blinking. Oh, I did it. I got it. Maybe not. I got the ever root. I can't carry any more of those. I can't carry any more of those. Do I have to talk to the dude now? I don't get it. Super confused. I don't get it. Yeah. He's like nowhere to be found in there. I don't get it. I'll wow had it because I don't get it. I've never done this class. So I needed to get the Evo root, which I got, and then I have to go down there.
Oh, he doesn't have a dot, so he's... okay. Well, you know. Well, this is stupid. So, he's right here. Apparently it's a really long chest, uh, quest chain too, according to Wowhead, and I'm only here. So it looks like, supposedly, he's right here. Or should I say around here? can fly. Oh no. I'm literally just gonna run off to Desolus because it seems quicker. And at least grab the flight path. And then read Wowhead to see what's next. So what is next? Uh, so you have to go to Tanaris next. You gotta meet her apparently in the graveyard. So this is gonna- I've never done this quest line. Is it even worth doing? I should see what the rewards are to see if it's even worth doing. To be honest. Because if this shit takes me around the whole fucking world, then it's probably not even worth doing. Um, what are the rewards? I'm stuck. Alright, yeah, this is so much closer to just get to. It doesn't tell me what the reward is. It's kinda gay.
this is a really long, uh, you know, flip. I really wish it told me what the uh, reward was at the end of the quest line. I probably won't finish it because you have to go to a million places. So you have to go to Tenaris next, die, Fairless again, Ungoro, Thalwood, yeah I'm probably not gonna do it, I mean I'll hand this in because I completed it, but uh. And then fell it again. Tenaris again? Yeah, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do this quest line. Such a long quest line. Oh, this is the bug fixes that they, uh, for Old War at the DK thing. They nerfed XT. They increased the health on Ignis. Scorch ground damage doubled in both modes. Oh god. They increased everything on X on Ignis. I'll just keep game sound on. So I don't get copyrighted again. I got copyrighted on my YouTube on the yesterday's not yesterday, on Friday's video. Um The faceless horse, so apparently they were skippable going up to Vesex. Yogg's health has been increased. Oh man. And their mortal guardians. Oh man. That's gonna be fun. no longer quite so bright. Interesting. Let's check out the Final Fantasy notes. Because the, uh, the 6.3 notes should be done. It shouldn't be the preliminary, it's unless it's still the preliminary notes. Oh, it's still the preliminary. I'm still 
curious about this. It's still preliminary notes. I need to turn up my AC. It's cold in here. It's cold outside. It's only 73, apparently. It's cold. It's 74. It's cold. Oh, it's gonna be 59 today. Oh my god, it's supposed to be cold Friday. No! <laughs> No, it's supposed to be 42 Friday night. No, it's 58 during the day. Oh, that's Saturday. Saturday's gonna be freezing. We're not doing anything Saturday. If we do, I'm wearing a jacket and a hoodie. Oh my god, it's gonna be cold Saturday. Friday's gonna be cold. That's okay. I get the cuddles. <laughs> Maybe. If he's nice to me and I let him come over. If he's nice. Okay. I'll be in a hoodie and long sleeve and socks and everything else to warm myself up and a blanket. Cause I'm gonna be freezing. <sighs> like really bad. I didn't know it was gonna be cold, okay? I thought it was still gonna be warm. We're apparently getting a cold front. No wonder it's cold in my room. I'm gonna need to get my heater out again. No beach. Fuck that shit. Nope. Maybe Friday, if I want to. But you're not gonna be here, so... He might take it, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna go here to do the toxic droplets. Because we need to go hand that in in winter spring. And then we go kill yetis and more, um... Peoples. Let 
me, they're gonna lose, so you don't even have to watch it. days until I'm levels 57. I remember back in the day from like 50 to 60 it took weeks when it was like vanilla in like the vanilla version. It took fucking weeks. And it sucked. Like once you hit like 57 to 60, it felt like an eternity to level from 57 to 60. It was fucking horrible. Handed 30 rune cloth and get more quests, but you know, I don't feel like giving the timber mall hold people stuff. Oh. But I have two to hand in there, and then we have to go kill Yetis and find Arceus. Winter Spring is my favorite zone, though. There's not a lot of quests in it. I can't I can't actually do the one because it's an elite quest. Um But it's still my favorite zone. a lot of their quests make you come back to Fellwood. So that kind of sucks. Shit ton of yetis, go finish that. Go find Arceus. Uh, that's about it. At the moment. Until she gives me more stuff to do. How are you? 
not doing. So now we have to find the Winterfall Runners on the road, which they weren't that way because we came that way. So they have to be this way. Somewhere. There's usually three padding around. Usually. I just don't know how far they pat. Or they're dead, one of the two. Might be dead. Hey, two point four hours. I mean, I got some XP from those too. Now we just gotta complete the rest of it. <clears throat> So Ursius runs around on top of like snow mountains, so that's good. He's gonna be fun to try to find. And then I know where the Yetis are. And I know so we'll do the Winterfall activity and then and Ursula. since they're both kind of in this more same area. He's right there. In the middle of everybody. Lovely. Found him! Let's go do Winterfall people, because I have to run the whole way back here to hand it in. And then we'll do Yetis. The Winterfall people shouldn't take long. Because I already have the Den Watchers done, I just need Shamans and the Ursus. You're learning. Okay, that quest we're not doing. <clears throat> oh, 
All these are den watchers. Lovely. There's a shaman. Okay, this might take a little bit. But hey, they drop rune cloth, and that's what I need for tailoring. I'm in my rune cloth, the final one now. more room cloth. And what's back here? Oh, an Ursa and a Shaman. I need both. I can't cast that yet. I'm surprised I did not aggro that Ursa. I was expecting both. I mean, at least we have experience now. Still recharging. Instead of like a hundred. 1.8 hours, supposedly. That's not gonna be true because after I've done all this, it's gonna be handy and everything in. And then that's gonna go down to like 20 minutes. the chief quest to kill the chief person up here yet. Oh, he's level 59. Everybody. They're all den watchers. I can't cast them. I guess I'll have to wait for spawns. I could go kill Yetis since they're right beside each other until the spawns are back. Kill some of these guys so they can spawn the people I need. All these guys are den watchers, yeah. Den watcher, den watcher, yeah. Well, 
that sucks. It killed everything. What's up here? Well, I found an Ursa. Got a pattern. Is it tailoring? No, it's leather working. Oh, I can sell it! What's this? Oh, a Nursa! Okay, there's another one. We're getting there. What are you? Oh, you're a Nursa too. Hello, friends. You need to die because I need to kill you. I am so sorry. I apologize for the inconvenience. Oh, my Ursas are done, because there's another one. So now I just need Shamis. Kill them for box! Yes. Hello, how are you? Shamis. I need three. Three! And then I'm done. Then I can move on to kill yetis for a million times. But everything's dead. Shami. That's still recharging. I literally just need two. There's no point to leave if it's only missing two. See, look, there's my one. So now I just need one more. What's going on? That's a fucking den watcher. I don't need you. I need the shawl. There's a chest back there. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna kill you now because I want the chest. But next time, spawn a shaman so I can go away and uh, go kill yetis. Like, I'm already friendly with the Timber Maw Hold somehow, and I don't know how. That's like, okay. I, I don't need to rap, I'm just doing them for the quests. <clears throat> That's an Ursa. Show me! But I need to loot, so I have to kill this dude. Okay, so time to go get Yeti fur. Which is literally right there. It's okay, at least I got rune cloth. I need a shit ton of rune cloth. So it's cool. 
What happened after the Yeti did sit-ups? It became the <laughs> abdominal snowman. Well. Makes sense. They do have abs! Valid, valid joke. They do have abs. Look at, well, a little bit. A little bit! Oh, this is gonna be fun. This Yeti fur doesn't like to drop, so we might be here a while. That's still recharging. Happy Monday, guys! It is another week in January. Snow day last week, so. work weeks where everybody works 10 hours 10 hours for four days and then they have three-day weekend that's what they need to do they need to have like 10 hour work like four day work weeks <clears throat> it would have to be 10 because 10 10 times 4 is 40 Or eight. 32, between 32 and 40 hours are full time. It's a lot of hours. Let a, 32 hours is a shit ton of hours. It really is, if you, even, if you actually sit down and think about it, it's a shit ton of hours to be at a job. Away from your house, away from like people, you know, away from family. If you're like taking care of like your grandparents or um, <clears throat> other family members, you know, that's a long time to stay to be away from like family alone. 32 hours is, is a very long time. Oh yeah, parental leave for both parents, not just the mom. Even if you have to shorten the guy's parental leave to like, <clears throat> not six weeks, but you know, like, three weeks. At least, you know, he's actually home helping. Oh, and you need to get paid for parental leave. The company has to pay you for parental leave. Because it's not your fault. Like they do in other countries, they actually pay you. But... You're, you literally are punished for having a kid. Well, if you choose to have a kid. Because you literally don't don't work for six weeks with zero pay. Even if you have PTO, vacation, sick days saved, you shouldn't have to use that because you had a baby. Because you're not sick, you had a baby. Your PTO should be your vacation time. Not, oh, I had a baby, so I need to take time off, but I need money at the same time. 
know, America's not smart about things. Dude, right? America's just not smart. Let's just admit it. not smart. The more and more you think about how bad America is, <laughs> the more and more you want to get the fuck out of the country. <laughs> it's so bad. It's fucking bloody horrible. <laughs> Say it, but it is. It's horrible. job here and I got an email like you know after the weekend saying they want to interview me so I told them my availability to like it's just a phone interview they never even called me they requested a phone interview so I gave them my availability but they never even called Okay, <laughs> um, I guess you don't want to interview me. <laughs> like, if you're not gonna call, then why even ask? zero sense. You know, like, makes zero sense. Quests. Who are you? That whispered me. Are you in my guild? Nope, you're just a rando. Let's go hand in quests. Oh, I'm halfway to 57? So I haven't gotten my 56 skills, which I should have when I was in org last night for like two hours doing, doing all my professions.
That's the elite quest that I can't do because I'm not... There's a, you know, you can't really find a group for it. Um... Let's see if I can find a winter- I need a hand in the Winterfall quest to... Pew! But let's try to find this Chillwind dude. trying to get to like right here to where it starts so I can try to find him. Okay, so it starts here. Well, the, the mob starts here. an elite. That's an elite. Why are there elites here? elites being here, to be honest. Well, I haven't found this dude yet. He's a level 58, so this is gonna be fun. Is he dead? must be dead if he's not alive. So he is not alive. Thingy. It's the flying people, not these, but like the, the blue ones. The blue chimera people, that's, that's what it is. Like, I know what it looks like. But he's just not alive. So, I mean, I kind of can't do anything about that. Yeah, the giant- yeah, those thingies. But he's literally not alive. So... We'll go do yetis again, because we have to do the horns. That's the thing with Winter Spring. There's, uh, there's not a lot of quests in Winter Spring. Hello, thank you for the prime! Five months in a row. That's a long time. How are you? How's life? Happy New Year. Yeah, he has a really large patrol too. And that's probably only not even half of it. Because I think he goes all the way through here too. but I could be wrong. 
So we need to kill the Patriarch people for the Yeti stuff. And then we have to go find the Winterfall crate. The farming life. As long as it's been great. I didn't want to have to go in the cave, but this quest is going to make me have to go in the cave. supposed to be uh really really good Because Dragonflight already failed, in my opinion. Especially for like solo players like me. It's it like it failed me for solo play. You literally can't solo in uh, retail anymore. Which kind of makes it sad. So I expect all Blizzard stuff to fail before I even give it a rating. So. to say it like that, but, you know. But it's okay! That's just my opinion. Everyone has their opinion. Please just drop the stupid horn so I don't have to go far into here. So then I can go find the Winterfall crate. Please. It's done. Okay, now to go find the Winterfall crate, which it's saying that it's out there, which is weird. They're usually not there. They're usually, there's usually people uh, walking on the road. But you might have to go to Fellwood and find it there. How's the kids? Because the next, the last part of the Yeti quest, I have to go to Gadgetsan, I have to go to Ungoro, which my hearth is still at Gadgetsan. I kept it there for a reason. And then the other one's here in Everlook. Yeah, I have to scare people. I 
just have to find them. It's the easiest quest to do. Roar! For like the ease for fucking 16k XP? I'll do it. But let's we have to go do the Winterfall crate now and hand in the other one. <sighs> We're almost 57. Two hours and six minutes at this level. <laughs> but two levels until I get to Outland, finally. Manatees on Saturday. We have a manatee lagoon here, and uh, it's the first time I ever saw manatees. They're freaking huge. They're like huge. <laughs> I didn't think they were that big, to be honest. Although they were like the size of a seal. Legit, I thought they were the size of a seal. <laughs> but they're not the size of a seal. They're way bigger than that. Yeah. We're gonna have to go to Fellwood. And then I can hearth, do those, do these two, and then fly back and hand this one in, and then we should be 57. And then I have to find, I don't even know where to level it from 57 to 58. I might do Blast of Lands. I have no fucking clue. I could do Western Plague Lands though. Well, I do have those quests to hand in for in Western and East. Oh, there they are! Western and Eastern Plague Lands. So, I could just. 58 minimum for Blasted Lands. No, oh, my map. With Questy, it says 55 and then level 50 quests, so. It's, uh, I can technically go there now, but I'm just trying to wait till closer to 58. So if I am in, you know, Angoro or, uh, Blasted Lands, then, uh, I can just head to the portal when I hit 58. And go to, uh, you know, yeah, and then go to Burning Crusade finally. So I might do Blasted Lands just because I'll be close to the portal then. So I'm dumb, and I thought the one the Joyous Journeys buff ran out tomorrow. So I leveled all day yesterday. I got I did 51 to uh, um, 
56 yesterday. Because I thought the stupid buff ran out tomorrow. But the buff runs out next week. So I didn't have to do all that leveling yesterday. I could have literally just enjoyed my Sunday. Made me so mad. Like, literally made me so mad. It's like... <sighs> I could have enjoyed myself, yo. Chief quest. Let's record you live. Great to meet you. Watch your back. What's on your mind? Be good. What do you get with it? Oh, you get something I can DE with it. Alright, let's go finish this, and then, like I said, it will level me to 57. And then... I guess I can do the, the Wintery Chief, since I'll be there. I'll be near it, I guess. Cause then I just gotta go to org and uh, go to STB or Booty Bay Victor. and head to Blasted Lands. Oh, I needed to scare somebody here. Who do I have to scare here? Sprinkle. Hello, I'm here to scare you. Roar. Okay, bye. But this quest will definitely get me to 57. Then it's a long ass fucking flight back up to Winter Spring. Ah. Yeah. So, I watched Twitch all weekend. And... On streamers that I'm not sub to and are partners, I haven't got, I never got one ad. I'm not sub to them and they're not, they're, uh, some of them are partners and some of them aren't. I have never gotten one ad the entire time. Like, all weekend, not one ad on Twitch. I kind of wonder if they actually listened and they said, you're doing way too many ads. Makes me wonder. Cause I was I was thinking this like all weekend. I was like, I haven't gotten one ad. That's so weird. I usually have to get twenty ads within five sec within five minutes of what trying to watch a stream. It's usually like twenty ads, not one. It's weird. This quest will be done. It's weird. <sighs> Who do I have to kill? Quick or scare? Oh, 
follow this dude. Yo! Hello. Alright, now the long flight. Guess what? Back to Winter Spring to, to level. That's gonna be a long ass fucking flight, yo. It's like gonna be like a 10 minute flight. But hey! That's not all I got. I don't know. That's about all I got. So apparently, my anime for season two of a series is out. Came out yesterday. Um, if you haven't watched the first season, it's really, really good. What's it called? Fuck. Oh, there it is. The Misfit of the... The Misfit of Demon King Academy. Season 1 is really good, and I didn't know Season 2 came out until today. Um, because a friend messaged me and was like, hey, have you watched the new episode? And I was like, yeah, I'm thinking he's referring to Bleach. And he wasn't, there. he was referring to this anime, and I was like, oh no, I didn't watch that one yet. So, it's, uh... It's a really good anime if you haven't watched it. Just so you know. Um. I love the main character's mom in the anime. The mom is just fucking bloody amazing. So I'm gonna have to watch that today. He must be doing I. So how was everyone else's weekend? Mine was fun. It was enjoyable. Mine was fun. But now we're trying to get ready for Old Wars, so I can start mining. I can start farming herbs once I get to Outlands. My goal was to get to Outlands on this character before the the uh, this left. So we're gonna at least do that today, and then we're gonna play Anno. To relax. I haven't played like I haven't actually sat down and like played Anno in a while and I've been itching to play Anno lately because Final Fantasy is down did you do the Final Fantasy event before it ended the uh, heavens turn unless that's still going on heavens turn might still be going on but did you ever get your reindeer mount Oh, that's still going on until next week.
It's super easy to do the New Year thing. It didn't take long. Does not take long. One of the cutscenes you can't skip. Um, but even if you can skip it, it took me like 10 minutes to finish it, so. I got my housing spot and my, uh, the trends, the, the, the glamour. And that was it. Is anybody in here the year of the rabbit, by the way? Because if you are, it is your year. It is the year of the rabbit this year. So, y'all get good fortune this year. If you were born in 1975, 1987, 1999, 2011, and 2023 is predicted to be a year of hope and rabbits are believed to be vigilant witty quick-minded and ingenious your compatibility signs are goats dogs and pigs a water rabbit if you're born between January 22nd to 2023 to February 9th 2024 famous people oh Albert Einstein was the year of the rabbit. Michael Jordan is the year of the rabbit. Wow. David Beckham. And that soccer player, I think. Leona Messi. I think he's that soccer player. They were born the year of the rabbit. Interesting. It's it's better for you to avoid big changes like getting married or starting a new company. <laughs> so you don't want to get married in 2023. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, you're a rooster. You. Oh, you're here. So next year is the dragon, 2025 is snake, and 2026 is horse. So seven, eight. So you're 2029 if it goes by that. I'm 2026 because I'm the year of the horse. So. 
Oh, you will be. But yeah, if anybody's near the rabbit, do not get married. <laughs> it's the worst time to get married. <laughs> I wonder what Aiden is. He's not a rabbit. My kid's the year of the pig. He's a piggy. Kid's a piggy piggy. He won't see his sign until 2030. Again, his sign recently passed. It was 2019 was the last time it was the year of the pig. That's interesting. I don't know why, but I find, I find astrology really interesting. Like, I'm not heads over heels for astrology at all, but I find it interesting. Interesting enough to really, like, look shit up, and that's about it. Level 57! Um, I don't know why. I just do. I just find it super interesting. I just find it interesting. Dumb. Now we go to Org to go to Booty Bay. No, to to Gromgol, because I don't have the flight path to swamp. So we do Gromgol and then we run to uh Blasted Lands. I'll keep this one if I have to return to, uh, Winter Spring. But this one we don't need. And I'll keep those just in case. But yeah, I don't know. I find the, uh, astrology shit weird. Interesting. I wonder what my mom is. My mom is the year of the dog. No, she wasn't born then. She was born in. She was born there. Oh, my mom's the year of the horse, just like me. What is my dad? My dad's a Leo. Um. My dad is the year of the dragon. So my dad's year is next year. I think you were tiger. Let's see if I remember your, your, what, what year were you born? 86? I think. 
Yeah, you're a tiger. Yeah, because I got you your, your, your thingy. You're a tiger. Last year was the year of the tiger. So last year was your 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 was your year, 2022. I didn't know that. Last year was tiger. Interesting. I didn't know that. Last year was a good year for you to get married. <laughs> you you have stubborn personalities apparently. Compatible with horse, dog, or piggy? <laughs> oh, I find that I find this shit so interesting. I don't know why. It's just so interesting. I guess because I like Asian culture too. It's like the culture part of it that's that makes it really interesting because it's. I wonder if it actually originated in, a uh, China. I'm a horse. I'm a gold horse. So the Zodiacs apparently originated from a Zodiac system from Babylonia 2,500 years ago during the age of Aries. Interesting. So we can go back. The Western astrology is influenced by ancient Greek and ancient Babylon. So it goes back for more than 2,500 years of when it first, uh, 1894. So... 3200 to 500 BC, it also is that. So it's like, you know, 3500 years ago or some shit. That's a little, wow.
I went to the wrong one. That's, yeah, wow. That's a very long time ago. <sighs> very long time ago. Yeah, what do you want? Have a good oh, wait, I took the wrong zap. My bad. The mailman is here. Hi! Okay, now we're on the right one. Let's hit 58, guys. We have one level! Then we can go to Outlands! One level to go! So yeah, we're just gonna go to Blast and Lands and just do the quest there. All those level 50s and then these, and then just take the portal and just pray that it, uh, you know. Gets me to, uh, you know. If not, I'm gonna have to go to Searing Gorge and do some of the level 49s. And we have made our goal. We have reached our goal of Outlands before the stupid buff runs out. Because I need to do some serious herb farming eventually. This week, I need to do some of that. Well, that's going to be off stream, but I need to do some of that. Should do that for like 20 minutes a day because I can't stand it any longer than that. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's really bad. Okay. Now guess what? The long run up to Blasted Lands because it doesn't let you take the stupid portal and org until you're level 58, which is so fucking gay. So you have to run there. And then we can finally get to leveling once we're actually there. It's just been a lot of running around lately. like Outlands. Outlands and Wrath are my two favorite continents. And then after that, it's Pandaria and Legion.
There was a thingy on WoW. I think it was WoWhead that I saw about... Some random person did a player housing concept in like the WoW community spotlight thingy. And the concept is actually really interesting. But to have Blizzard implement it is probably going to be like, they're going to be like, oh, it's too many resources. Then we need more, more design teams to design furniture. But it's actually really interesting on the concept of how they, on how they worded it and put it. It would be interesting to see it live. It really would. But I highly doubt it will ever happen. So, like, they're saying, you remember the how the farms worked in Pandaria, if you played Pandaria? To where it just phased you into your own farm, and then once you left your farm, it just instantly phases you back out? That was their concept of player housing. But you can unlock one house in every zone in the world. But you can only have one house active at a time. Where it'll phase you in to like, if you go near a house, it'll phase you in the house. And then well, obviously once you leave the house, it'll like unphase you, it'll take you back to like the, the world. It's a very interesting concept. And I think it would work with the way Blizzard has implemented phasing. Um, and how advanced the phasing technology, quote unquote, is at the moment with WoW. I think it would work. It's just, again, they would need more resources, more people to design, um, like the, it, the furniture inside. I mean, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be advanced as Final Fantasy. Like, Final Fantasy fourteen, hands down, has the fucking, you know, housing on, housing down. Like, it's epic. I know Elder Scrolls has housing, and their housing's pretty, pretty good too. Um. But, to me, Final Fantasy fourteen has housing hands down. Even though there's a lack of houses for people in the world. But, uh... The way that they explain the concept of, like, implementing a house in WoW is more of WoW's style than, say, copying a Final Fantasy XIV style. To where, you know, you get teleport, you have housing words, you know. So, I don't know. I'll show you the article in a minute. I just want to grab, um... How, um, this flight path. This wouldn't be anything like the garrisons. This wouldn't be anything like class halls, though. This would be, like, your literally own house that you can decorate and put however you want. And I'm a big housing fan. Like, I, I really like housing. They, there wasn't housing in Shadowlands. What are you talking about? So, your, the features that you, like, have on yourself would be, like, features in, like, the furniture inside the house. So, it could, you know, be located here. 
could auction off your house if you want. You can make it private or public. And you can change up. So like this house would be more into an Ashenvel house. So like if you go to Tenaris, the house would look more like a house that's supposed to be in the desert. If you go to Winter Spring, it'll be a house that's supposed to look more like a Winter Spring house. You know, you go to Outlands, you know, it's like different looking houses for each zone. So like this would be an Ashenvale house for an exterior. And then you can change the colors of like the roofs and stuff and the uh, windows and stuff, which I think are really cool. And the interior will, could, you know, obviously look empty. But then, so this is like a cool tyrant house. It looks more like an actual cool tyrant house. Ashenvale house. You can't upgrade it like you did in Garrison's. So it would be like a single house like that. But I think it's uh I'd be interested in it. And then there's the uh the different furniture decorations. I would definitely be interested in it. I'd probably play retail just for the housing, to be honest. And then they have other shit, but... Like, you can make it your own. Like, I'd definitely be interested in something like this. See higher that like a lot of people are like they really want it. I definitely be interested in something like this. I'll share that. But it's something that I'd want. But make it so, obviously, no auction house. Because then that'll defeat the purpose of people not going to cities. So, like, you know, don't add an auction house. Don't add stuff that you need to go to a city for. Just make it so that it's your house, that you can get the rested XP in it. You can talk and trade, and you can talk in general chat, looking for a group and stuff. But not like, don't implement an auction house or stuff like that. There's a quest here, sorry. I wonder if this is that, oh. level 6, so oh no, it's a level 50 quest. Alright. Let's do these. A new Valori Delinar. Glory to the Sindori. The dark times will They're pass. green, but... The eternal sun guides I don't know us. where else the quest. Glory to the Sindori. A lot of these mobs aren't gonna give me XP, it's just from the quest. I just don't know where to quest that.
besides like Eastern Plaguelands and Western Plaguelands. But they're all. By the time I do a quest, like I won't even be leveled. I guess I'm just gonna rely on these quest tandems and see how far it gets me to. go find the level I have to go get these two. It's literally like killing everything. The dude's not able to do this here. I was like, the dude's not even here. Oh, well, that's a repeat quest. and just I need to get closer. go back to where I was. I don't have a target. Because this isn't going to do shit for me. Man, I really hate this. I'm going to have to go to Western Plaguelands. That's where I'm going to have to go. I don't want to go there, but I'm going to have to go there because this isn't going to do anything for me. This will just take longer. And I can't hurt because it's the whole way on the other continent. I might as well just fly to Gromgul, take the Zep, and then run to fucking Western Plaguelands. I didn't want to have to do Western Plaguelands! But this ain't gonna give me shit. I didn't think, you know, it would be nice to know, like, what level the mobs are in the zone. 
Because, you know, it's a level 50 quest, so you figure, oh, level 50, 52 mobs. Nope. No. They're more like 40, 45 mobs. So, the uh, quest should be, like, level 45 and not, like, 50. I mean, uh, we're three bars in so far. I'll be right back on that note. No, we keep, we're literally, we just keep flying everywhere. But I'll be right back. heavy his gaming chair came today and apparently my mom went to work when she was supposed to be off today so I'm most likely stuck making dinner maybe all right let's go to under city His chair, his chair is only $99, yo, at Staples. I'm jealous. And it's, uh... It's different than what he, uh, originally has. I'm jealous. I'm like, buy me one. <laughs> I need a new one. I 
got water. Alright, let's go to Western Playgrounds. I was trying to avoid this fucking zone, but I guess I can't. Sigh! I mean, Western Playlands is literally green, too. It's pretty bad. I just want to hit 58! That's all! That's an Eastern Playlands class. I might just go to Eastern Playlands and say fuck it. That's a Skolo class. Maladash, Malanori. I think this is an elite quest. The reckoning is at hand. Unless they changed it from an elite quest. Um. Oh, that's a school old quest line. I really don't like 57 to 58. There's literally nowhere to go. I hate it. It's annoying. I don't even know if I can even do this because if it's the thing I'm thinking of, there's so many scarlet people around that I might not be able to even do it. 
Well, there's a quest here. But is it, is it inside the house? Because these, these mobs spawn, like, respawn super fast. It's inside the house. Yeah, they expect me to, like, with all these people around? There's no way. I don't know how people can do that by themselves. So we're just gonna go to Eastern Plaguelands. It's a bitch to do, but you know, it's something. <sighs> At least it's quests. And at least I can hand that quest in at Light Hope Chapel then. I really hate 50. Between 56 and 58 are like so bad. They're fucking horrible. Now I gotta go kill 30 fucking bats. But at least they're up my level and I'll get XP. But still, by the time I'm done it, I'll be 58. That's just so stupid. And we're only four bars in, too. And we've been running around for the last 40 minutes trying to find a place to quest that. It's so bad. It's fucking horrible. When is level 71 doing here? It's so weird. Okay, well, we made it. I just don't know how many quests. I'm just gonna grab all the quests that I that I can get. Then kill what I can kill to get to level 58 as fast as I can. And yeah. Some of these will be easy. Like I need to kill these for like 15 of the thingies or some shit. Some of them will be easy. But I was trying to avoid these zones, but it's not gonna happen. But I waited to do Winter Spring till 56 for a reason. fucking sucks because Eastern Plaguelands isn't really like eye popping. It's like there's nothing here. make my way over to Light Hope Chapel by killing stuff. Cause I have to kill it anyways. At least I get XP for it. I have to kill 30 bats, bro. Like, come on. It's gonna be forever. They can't make life easy. That's still recharging. 
They cannot make the game easy. Like, really Everything has to fear. One level of this. One level! That's it! Maybe I can get a quest that I have to kill like 15 mobs and then I'm done. Maybe we can find those easy quests. Instead of having to kill like 30 fucking people at a time. Well, this is the uh... Or what's his nuts is? Nathanos. This is when Nathanos was actually dead before Sylvanas brought his uh flesh back. In under ten minutes, there's no way. There's more Back when the Thanos was pretty, right? Embrace. Back when the Thanos actually like Oh, that's a level sixty quest. Um was actually supposed to stay dead. You know? Not ran not have Sylvanas randomly give him flesh again. I mean I could probably kill that 60 quest to be honest. I'm just trying to get the Lights Hope Chapel. Because I have one quest handed. dog keeps seeing cars go by thinking it's uh, people coming home and it's not. Am I even? Oh, there's corn crossing. You know, I never understood why Sylvanas did that, to be honest. Why he just did why she gave him flesh again. Besides maybe meeting other people that aren't dead, I don't know. Never understood that. But then again, I never really listened to the lore. Because, you know, they don't make the game easy to listen to lore, like how Final Fantasy does it. Like, no one's gonna sit somewhere and listen to dialogue when they can just go quest. If they really want to fix that and actually have people listen to the lore, all they have to do, very simple, when you hand it a quest and there's dialogue, make it so that the next quest doesn't pop up until the dialogue's over. So then the pe the players have to stay there and listen to the lore. Make it well proof. There you go. But they make it to where oh the See you they'll later. just you know the quest the next okay. quest will pop up and you don't even have to stay there and wait. What can I do for you? This is Strat Quest. I can do that one. That's a Strat Quest. I 
Off my way. Oh, it's not near my. That's a blacksmithing oh, thing. Weird. What do you do? This. Oh, that's this thingy. Go that's forward. already done. Uh, okay, that's not it. Alright. Let's slay some ghouls, guys! Oh, that's a solo quest. So we don't want that. Oh no, you're not what I need, but okay, I'll have to kill kill you anyway since I aggroed you. And you fucking fear! Of course you do! You know, this you can't make this game easy, right? Then again, it's already easy. <sighs> so... It's called Fear Ward, but it's on a three minute cooldown, so it only works on one person, and it's not really worth using. So, yeah. Not really worth it for a three minute cooldown. Where are all these people at? Another big one. Give me more than one, please. This is the only zone that yeah, I can really do. I mean, I can do still at this, but that's even worse. It's just a big grind. Just like this area. Still at this would be the only other zone that I can go to. And it's the same shit. I wonder if these guards actually work, because if this works, I'm curious. You do realize Horde sucks at PvP, and trying to do the quest will result in me dying 50 million times. So that's even worse. eventually today. Might take me a while, but hey, I'll do it. No, I'm gonna try to go do the the ranger quest. I just have to be careful. Because I can find those ghouls around um, the land. I need like five of these things. You know, it's just I just don't want to do it. 
but you know, it's kind of like you have no choice but to do it. That's still what you're doing. I only need 15 thingies of these, so this quest will be at least be done. See, I have eight. Oh, this is a dungeon quest. I didn't know that. That's a strat quest, that's why. So it's literally just killing fucking 50 million people in this zone. And so it's like a STV. You just have to do it and like it and not complain. Hey, a level in one and a half hours. At this rate. down to, to, to Darishire and did that quest. So we'll go do that. We'll head down there after I'm done doing, getting the rest of these slabs. And still recharging. And killing three more plague hounds or frenzy ones. I'm trying to hit my number five, but I keep hitting number six. It's pretty bad. I don't DPS. This is why I heal, because all I gotta do is click everything in here. Well, mostly everything. I need five more! Then we'll have one quest done! Woohoo! It doesn't want to drop. Hey, we're almost halfway! There's 12! 
Oh, speaking of frenzy playing now. Found one! Okay, they don't give you the thingies. Oh, there's another one, but I have no mana. Oh, there's another one. So I need two more of those and three more of these. horrible. Here's my last frenzied. And I guess I can make my way down to Darishire. Because these are everywhere. Literally. Cool. That's my last one of those. Here. I need to get closer. Stop running away from me. Come here. Thank you. That's still recharging. <laughs> okay, I need one more of those. Oh, hey, look. We're at the road. We made it to the road! Alright. We made it to the road anyways. But you have to remember, back in the day when this was just vanilla, you had no choice but to do Eastern Plaguelands. If you wanted to quest. Because there was nowhere else for you to go. 50 to 60 was the worst. Because there was hardly any quest to do. And OG. So I still don't get why. People are playing on the uh, hard mode. Server. Because it's like super hard from like 50 to 60. So I don't know. I'm out of range. I can't cast that yet. Just need five normal play counts because we're making our way back down. We're making our way back down. That song. 
Corn's crossing to where hopefully I can just kill everything and get that quest done. Nope, but certain fucking mobs. Really? Why does it have to be certain mobs? like three. I need 15. I have four. I need 15. literally like to li make life so much harder on me. Why? find three more plague helms without dying to a million mobs aggroing on me. Then I guess just go down and kill the 20 plague helm runs. That's gonna be my only options. bats yet. You're my next victim over here. Oh, actually, you're my next victim. That's still recharging. this thingy one more time. So now we need 19 runts and 29 bats. I might be able to do the this quest to grab the head. Because I got a hand in that quest there, so... I need you. You're both gonna scare the fuck out of me, though. Like I said, they're both gonna fear the fuck out of me. Where are you? I know you're nearby. I need you. I need 19 of you. I can't cast that yet. Eighteen. I 
Seventeen. Thankfully, I have a lot of water on me. And I don't have to go somewhere and get water. But we're gonna try to do that one while we kill all these fucking people. So we're just gonna, cause I'm probably gonna end up, uh, leveling after mainly probably completing three quests, to be honest. I just have to fucking do them. That's the problem. I don't want to do them. They're gonna kill so many. We're never gonna get the Anno today. If anything, I'll just hit 58 and say bye and then play Anno later. <laughs> So we're just gonna look for the runs right now. We're not gonna do like 50 million mobs. We're just gonna look for the the runs and get that one done. And then do the bats and get that one done. Ugh, I wonder how hard is it gonna be to get the head of the Zel of Zeldar. Cause if it's not that hard, then that quest would be done. Then I can just like fly from there to there and hand it in and level. Probably only need like three or four quests to level. Um, well these are level 55. This shouldn't be too bad. I just have to get inside. That's still yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. I just got smacked in the face, bro. Killing zombies, though. I mean, I'll get rune cloth, right? So it's totally worth it because of the rune cloth. I'm gonna kill you just to be safe. Getting punched in the face. But it's cool. Watch me get bombarded by a fuck ton of mobs knowing my love. Uh, there's no mobs here. Uh, is he supposed to be here? There's no mobs here. He might be dead. He's supposed to be here. The Undercroft to the west, and that's where I am. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm missing something. So I mean, it's not hard to get in here. I just feel like I'm missing something. But I really don't feel like Googling. I really hate this zone. 
This zone can like go to hell, man. I might try Silithus. I at least want to hand this quest in, so I might actually give Silithus a try. I just have to find different zones to try. So Eastern Plaguelands is AIDS. But I already have a quest complete, so at least I can complete that quest. Eastern Plaguelands is AIDS. Can't stand it. At least I can just hearth and then fly to Angora and then run to a... Uh... Why are you here, bro, at level 59? Go to Outlands. And then I'll run to Silithus. Fucking hate this. I fucking hate these levels. I do. At least in there, I think you just gotta you kill like 15 of each thing. On some of the stuff. I... Dude, I'm only halfway. Oh, that's AIDS. Oh, I can't use that while shape-shifting. This is AIDS. Halfway to 58! the worst, I'll end up back in Fellwood. But even Fellwood, there's hardly anything else. There's hardly anything even in Fellwood. Makes me want to go back to bed. And just never wake up. Or restart my day. Just go to Silithus and just get on Anno just so I can relax a bit and not have to look at a fucking wall screen. Because Anno is relaxing. I'm trying to organize in like my cities right now. Which can take a long time. But I just want to hit 58 for the crying out loud. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do is hit 58, bro. That's it. That's it. And it's been becoming super hard just to hit 58. I 
know the entrance to Silithus is somewhere along here, but like down there more. So. Oh, actually, maybe right here. Oh, it is right here. I knew it was alongside something, but I just know how far it was. Found it! It's two o'clock. Already? the Zelda class. Dude, I'm already wasting so much time as it is. It fucking sucks. I hate it. It's the worst. I just want to hit 58 already and just go to Outlands because then I actually know, like, I'm not wasting my time in Outlands. It's horrible. Fucking horrible. Right, Nick, uh, this is just wasting my time at the moment. I've been running around for, so I've been at this level for like two hours. No, an hour and a half. But I've only been questing maybe 30 minutes of this entire time. Other than that, I've been running everywhere, wasting time, trying to figure out where to quest that. It's fucking horrible. I, I have no other place to go besides here. That's so bad. Giant swords from space? Yeah. Silithus is the same thing as STV though. You just grind and kill 50 million mobs. But it's not as bad at the same time as Eastern Plaguelands. It's not as bad. It's the same, but it's not as bad. You wish to speak? See, 15 strikers. That one I can do. That's an elite quest. What are you? This I can do. So there's already two quests that I can do here. How are you? This I can do. Speak, friend. That I just have to talk to somebody. Greetings. Secret. Um. Farewell. I can do that one. Okay, I can do that one. See, I can already do most of these. Oh, that's all of them, actually. I can do them all but one, because the death clasp is the elite. Peace, friend. So, we'll be Gucci. We'll just have to stay in syllabus. for like a very long time. But that's fine. Whee! Right, grind on bugs, worst come to worst, yep. Grind on the bugs. We all know 55 to 60 is the fucking worst. There's hardly anything around, any quests around. And there's literally no one doing like strat or uh, LBRS or UBRS. It's literally just quests. 
because you level faster with quests. Oh, for sure, I have all those quests that I can do. I have every one that I can do at the moment. Stupid bugs. It's too far away. That spell is ready yet. But it's okay. Take me all day to hit 58, but you know what? Fuck it. The stupid buff doesn't end until fucking next week, so I don't even have to hit 58 today. I can just, you know, say fuck it, I'm done. Don't want to do this anymore. And not touch the game for like two days. Literally, I might do that. Well, I'm not touching the game at all tomorrow. I'll be on Final Fantasy tomorrow. Tomorrow is Final Fantasy. Because patch drops, and we have story we have story to do, and dungeons to do, and everything else to do tomorrow. So tomorrow, there's definitely not going to be a well. That's why I'm trying to hit 58 today, so I can get some double on this character, starting to start her in Outlands. <sighs> So I'll probably have to hit 58 like later, if anything, if I don't hit it in like the next two hours. Um, I want the dredge stuff. I want the strikers. Trying to find those because these guys aren't dropping anything that I need right now. I need to get closer. <laughs> At least with the strikers, it's 15 and then it'll give me some XP. So like I only need ten more of these. I'm out of range. <laughs> but I can make my way up to the one I camp. my way up and grab the fragments. While I'm killing strikers. At least I'm getting XP though from killing mobs, so it's not like I'm missing out on XP. At least I'm getting some sort of XP, but not the XP that I want. But at least it's something. That's all that matters, right? It's XP. Oh, 
I finally got one. Right? All about that XP. I wonder how hard it is to grab these tablets. I knew I was gonna aggro it. Oh, not that hard. You might have to kill some mobs, but not all mobs. Hard to see him. I need to get closer. Oh, that's because there's other people here killing mobs. Less mob to kill. Okay, we're at five. We need three more. Six. Oh, we can just skip these two. Okay, so this quest done. One quest done. Yay! does it give me? 9k? It's not too bad. And done. It's too far away. Okay, one done. Well, actually, technically, we have two. Because all we have to do is go talk to this dude, and I get 9,000... No. I don't know how much XP I get, but I get XP for that. <laughs> Fuck me. Go away. Oh, I'm gonna be running for a while. Until I can get out of here, we're gonna be running. Cause it knocked me off my mount. And then we have the twilight text here, which we can do, which that actually takes a while. Um, uh, that's a crusher. That, see, that's next. I'm trying to look for the other ones first. Which, we're almost done the strikers. Um, But at the same time, I'm like, I just want to do them, hand them in, and then see what, uh, what else I need to do. And then maybe not have to do 20 million plus. But I might at least do the Twilight text, so then I, that's all done. Because it's an orange crust. Sell more XP. Maybe it's still the charge. What 
five more of these, and then we're done. This one. Finally, actually questing. We're at 64. That gave me 10% by just killing the shit. So I'm thinking if I can get lucky with the drops on the Twilight text after I should be level 58 with those four quest tandems. Should be level 58. But I need the, at least one more. But first I need um, two more strikers first. But I feel like, you know, that'll be, this'll be my zone to hit 58 in, which is the worst. But hey, at least I'll be 58! I need one more. I found my last victim! You are closer. Come, my pretty! You are going to die, so I can go kill other Twilight people. I'm going to aggro him. Well, you're dead. Quest done! Yay! Two quests done! Well, three quests done, actually. Consider just talking to the dude. Alright. Some of these are level 60, so I have to be careful. It's the only problem here. It's the only problem. And these guys walk around too, so. pages yet. The thing is, this quest can take fucking bloody forever. Um. Why are you here, dude? Why? You're 61! Why are you here? Go to Outlands! Let me go hand in these quests and go get the Crusher quest. That's like, that's again, I think that's like 15. Uh, oh, that's 20. Okay. 
Okay, so I gotta kill 20 of those. Which is fine. What's on your mind? Um Oh, I gotta go there. Let's go south. Three bubbles away! Oh my god! It's gonna happen, guys! Three bubbles! It's gonna happen! It's gonna happen! to level 60. Well, we have to go over there and hand that quest in. But that's okay. We can kill the dredgers thingy people. If we see them on our way to hand this quest in. That's 10k XP, yo! We got this! It exists! We're gonna complete all these quests and see where we're at. I'm so happy you fucking bloody exist. OMG. Okay. You need something? Oh, it's bar and a half. See you around. So, I think killing dredgers are gonna, um, crushers are gonna be my, uh, my last quest. But I do wonder if I could just go to Winter Spring and kill the High Chief person and that would catch, that would take me to, um, fifty eight. It might. I think it will. If not, I can always just kill, like, the yetis. I might do that. It's just gonna be a long-ass fucking bloody flight. That's the problem. But that might be the best, be my best bet. And then we're done. So I think we'll do that. I just needed some oomph to get me there. Let's go kill the High Chief and then we're done. Fuck this shit. Fuck you, Eastern Plague Lands. No. No. Fuck you. <laughs> go kill the stupid High Chief person. Like I said, a long ass fucking flight though, so be prepared. Hail. Literally the whole continent. Alright, abandon. Because we're gonna be done. Fuck you. I don't like you. I don't like you. We'll keep you. And that's it! We're gonna 58 exists! <laughs> it's
It's just a 20 minute flight. But it's okay. Just a short trip to go kill some fur bugs again. You know, just a short trip. Ah, uh, I have water in front of me. I don't really need anything. Everything's pretty much done. I mean, I can't, I kind of can't take a shower while stream's going, so... You know, it's stuff like that. Water streaming, <laughs> right? That's funny. Oh, maybe you, you know, maybe you guys can help me with something. So right um so i have to do a demonstration video for a interview for overseas so the video has to be about food and hunger for about 10 minutes long to kids that are between six to eight years old that understand English and I'm trying to find a way to do that. I have the interviews at like 11 30 tomorrow night so I'm trying to figure out how to do this without doing a shit ton of research for a short demo 10 minute video. <laughs> it's it's a lot of work it is but I'm trying to figure out how I can do it I could use YouTube and then just uh, use their outline the thing that's gonna be hard is the age group, like, they can so, in the demo video, the children can understand English. So, I don't know how big words that I can use, like, how big of words I can use, um, for it. Because these kids are between six and eight years old, like, trying to learn English, okay. Well, how big, how hard of a word could I use? <laughs> Or do I have to keep it simple? So, I've tried, I need to figure out what kind of words I can use to make it simple enough for six to eight year olds to really understand stuff. Exactly, simple is better. So, I'm <laughs> like, how am I supposed to make this simple for a 10 minute demo video in front of two adults acting like they're kids for this interview like I don't know how I'm gonna do it I'm, it does it sounds like a very long time I'm so stressful but <laughs> like I even asked them can I like video myself and like send you the video and they're like no you have to do it in like in front of us us like the director and the main 
head English teacher, they're going to be there. And I'm just like, okay, how am I going to do this? <laughs> Ten minutes. Most demo, most people ask for demo videos of like four or five minutes. But like 10 minutes is a long time to talk about food and hunger. So I honestly, I don't know how. I have no fucking clue. I have no clue. I don't know why they wanted me to do food and hunger. Because it's about sustainable goals. I'm like, okay. That is true. I could do that. I could definitely do that. I could. Because then I could literally just, like, read off my sheet. And word for word. I could put, like, word for word that I'm going to say on, like, on what you said. The, uh, like, a, a Microsoft Office thing. And just read it word for word. But, like, be happy and energetic about it. And, you know, like, I could do that. And, tie like, make a video and, like, time it to make sure it's ten minutes. Or close to ten minutes as possible. I could do that. <laughs> no, when I when I do demo videos, I actually talk very slow, so they can because you have to so they can understand what you're saying. You can't actually talk fast like in your native language. You have to slow it down. So, it's very, it's, it's very different teaching, like, any language to another person. Because you can't fully do how you talk natively. <laughs> what is it, you? Honestly, this is what I want to do. And with the way that America is right now, and the way that... You know, we were talking earlier about how bad it's becoming. You know, getting away and actually helping another country is better for the world than staying in America and just dealing with shitty people. In my in my honest in my honest opinion. Um But, of course it's bad everywhere, but not as bad as America. Oh, for sure. But because of how bad the world is right now, I feel like it's better to give, to like help out, to be that 0.1% or that 0.00001% of people that actually want to help the world. So... Plus, you know, if it, if it pays better, 
You help the world by returning your shopping carts in the parking lot. Where they're supposed to go? Because that is one thing I cannot stand. I can't stand it. Like, I go to Target, you know, and you park, and you just see 50 million shopping carts not even, like, brought up to the front or in where they're supposed to be at. It's like, I literally just say out loud, people are really lazy with people hearing me. I don't care. Because they are. They're lazy. It's not gonna hurt you to walk right back to the front real quick to return a cart and come back to your car. I cannot stand it. I hate laziness. I can't stand it. I mean, I know I'm lazy, but I'm lazy at home. When I'm out and about, I'm not lazy. I return my carts. I put stuff back. You know, I'm not lazy when I'm out, but... Like... In my house? Of course, you're allowed to be lazy at home. But... Being rude and lazy outside of your house is just disrespectful. I can't stand it. I mean, hey, there you go. Right? I, I can't... Just as many times you see people leave a destroyed table at a restaurant. Even Oh, even hotel rooms. You hear so many hotel stories, like horrid stories, that people destroy hotel rooms because, because they figure, oh, the cleaning staff can clean it all up. Is it so hard to clean up or put everything in one area for the cleaning staff to just grab and go? So, like, when I go to cons, and I obviously have to stay in a hotel, I literally bring, bring like, one or two big trash bags with me from my house. And the day before and the, the morning of that I have to check out, I'm literally cleaning up my room, putting all the dirty towels near the door, putting all the trash of, like, you know, the... The pizza that we order, the Chinese food or whatever, in that one trash bag near the door. So that all the cleaning stuff has to do is literally pick it up, change the sheets, you know, fix the bath, you know, like spray Windex or whatever. And then they can move on to the next room. That's called being considerate to the people around you. Like... You don't own the hotel room. You don't own the hotel. They can easily kick you out, or if you try to reserve the same hotel again for the same convention, they can literally say no. Because of how bad you treated the staff and how bad and fucked up the room was that they had to fit, like replace floor or whatever because of you. It Exactly. It literally doesn't take long at all. It takes five to ten minutes. And that's it. Not even sometimes. It does not take long. Or pick up as you go over the weekend. I tend to pick up as I go over the weekend. So it takes five minutes the day of checkout. It's so bad how people are it's so disrespectful in America. I hate it. I can't stand it. Okay, let's go. Go. It's just, it's fucking horrible. Oh, have a good lunch time. We're about to hit 58. Cute. We're gonna kill the shaman so he doesn't have to heal him. And then... 
Fun times dealing killing demon pigs? Hell yeah, that's a lot better than fucking classic shit. I'ma cry if this doesn't. Oh, I got another quest. Ooh. We're definitely level 58. We are definitely level 58. Oh, I have to take both of these back to here. Yep. Nice. So much quicker and so much easier. We are one bar away. What's up? Not much. I'm trying to uh, get to. I'm trying to hand these quests in so I can get get to fucking Outlands and say goodbye, peace to this fucking classic shit. Uh, yeah, my fucking bird needs to run faster. Great to meet ya. Totally go do that. Keep your feet on the ground. Where in Fellwood? How far do I have to Oh I can fl okay. We'll just do that, because I get a free trinket. Alright, back to Everlook to fly to Fellwood quick, and then from and then we fly to Orgrimmar. Take the portal and log out in Hellfire. And say peace! <laughs> we did it!
Gotta log to my paladin quick. I'm getting a trinket from an officer right now. So they can stop hammering me about trinkets. I'm gonna lose some spell power though, that's gonna suck, but I'll gain more intellect. My guilty got two. So he's giving me one for free. <laughs> Cause he'd rather me have that than the jewel crafting trinket. And then I don't have to use my gems to make the jewel crafting trinket. So I'm pretty much full this afterwards. Well, almost full this. Nah, he got one for free. He got one for himself and then one the other one for free from selling those boots and the GDKP. He literally bought the uh, trinket from uh, selling those boots last week. How's Texas going? I keep seeing a lot of your Instagram uh, DJ stuff. No, the the BOE boots that they got for he bought them for like thirty three hundred gold. Um, and then he took the, the 3,300 gold from those, uh, from that stuff and bought a deck and got a, got an extra one. Yeah, he was just asking me about that. I should ask him how his sit week's going because, uh, I'll ask him in a Discord how sit week is gonna happen. So I got my trinket, which is gonna replace. 98 spell power. That's a lot, bro. <sighs> but, oh, this whole lot. I just need weapon, back, and headpiece. And then I'm full bis phase one. Twenty six percent crit. But no, I'm gonna, I'll ask him about it, because I don't know what he's gonna, I think they're still trying to figure it out. I got my chef's hat, by the way. You know, he logged off before I could say thank you. You're resin a DJ for a club, so that you be regular income. That's actually really cool. 
You seem to be having a blast with it. To be honest, you seem to be having a blast with it. Are you in Austin? Or are you in Dallas? I can't remember. still buying fucking boosting runs when it doesn't fucking work. I'ma report that shit. No, he was asking about my availability for Friday and Monday because of progression and I'm like, I'm pretty much available in morning, so... Flight path, let's go to Fellward quick, get this easy trinket, and then head to fucking Outlands. Finally. Holy hell. We did it. We level 58. Before four. Before my cutoff time for luck. Yay! <laughs> How is Zeppelin playing Final Fantasy when it's down? How is people, how is he on, she on Final Fantasy when it's servers are down? It's consumed your life in a good way. I mean, hey, as long as it's in a good way. Oh, you're in Dallas, gotcha. Servers are up. So servers go down tonight. That's so weird. I thought servers were down. Oh, so 9 p.m. tonight they go down. Nine to five. 12 hours or 8 hours. They usually do 24 hour maintenance, but it's tonight. Interesting. Because one of the one of the states that I'd move to um, would be uh, Austin. I know a lot of people are in Austin, live in Austin and Dallas. I just wasn't sure. there. Oh, I'm so glad I'm done. I have to go get my spells, though, because I haven't gotten any from 56. 
So we'll go get spells and then just grab the portal. Yay! Now I might have to go... When can you get the next enchanting? Three... I mean the next one. Three... 300? Does it have to be 300? Austin is about two or two and a half. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. You got world boss loot in retail. Gross. Haven't even touched retail. Haven't even thought about retail. I miss you. Give me my spell power trinket, bro. And 15k XP. All right, we done. Argamar. Oh, I don't want to play retail. I have no interest in retail. in retail. How is that lame? That's not lame. I just have zero inches in retail. What's so wrong about that? Oh, I can ask Wreck my question while we fly. After I find his thingy. Because I can't, I just, yeah, I don't like retail because, yeah, you can't raid log, you actually have to play. And literally, retail, you can't really play solo. It's like a play with friends or play with a guild type of game anymore. Oh, God. Go to sleep, dude. Oh, have you, did you finish uh, the first season of the new Bleach episode? Of uh, the new season? I know you're a big Bleach fan. I don't know if I asked you that the other week that I saw you on my stream. Finding out about Unohana being an original captain of like the first 13 was mind blown. And then finding out that Ichigo is also a Quincy and can now dual wield is like, I'm really, I cannot wait for the next part. 
It's... I can't wait. Yeah, well, she's dead now. But I still want to see his, uh... I still want to see Zenpachi's, uh, Bankai. It doesn't- it doesn't show his Bankai. At the end of that, it didn't show it, so I was like, eh, I wanna see it. But, she's very terrifying. No wonder everyone- Now we all know, like, why every time she looked at people, like, they knew to not fuck with her. Oh yeah, a very small fraction of his time. So he can now, he can now be a hollow. He can, he's he's a Quincy, and he's a Shinigami. He's a Soul Reaper. Combine with a Bankai. You gotta add that with a Bankai. He's gonna be he's gonna be terrifyingly powerful now. What are you looking for? Yeah, he's 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 gonna be a very he's a terrifying person now. I wouldn't want to get on his bad side. <laughs> so I'm very curious how powerful he became by figuring out his uh, actual identity. So. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can go nap now. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't know if you watched all of it or not. Oh, you read the manga? Yeah, I don't read the manga, so seeing everything for the first time in the anime was like I got mind blown. I was like, oh my god. Wow, so that's why his mom died. That's why his dad lost his powers. Like, you now find the full story. It's... yeah. It was- it was really nice to see Yachiru older, instead of just Tiny, sitting on Kenpachi's shoulder. When you saw, like, but they just give you a glimpse of, uh, Yachiru. It's- it's nice seeing, you know, her a bit older now. So, it, it's- it's interesting. But, it's definitely- shit's gonna go down, and I- I can't wait. Ugh. <sighs> Like, I'm just, I'm curious about what, Straight I'm very curious about what Ichigo's new Bankai is, because it didn't show the Bankai. It obviously just ended as him getting rid of all the water in the fucking Squad Zero area, and then that's it. So I am very, very curious. Very curious. On Ichigo's new bankai. Speak, friend. For the whole. Be safe. So. Yeah, so far only the one dude died. And a lot of like. Random Shinigamis. So. It makes me want to rewatch Bleach. Because now I can put two and two together, knowing what I know from the, uh, from this first little half. I can now just put two and two together. And it might even have me see Bleach as a different anime at the same time. So. I don't know. That's a lot of episodes, though. Yeah. 
All right, guys, we are in Outlands. Sweet. Fucking finally. Can you fly? At 60? Can't remember. What do you need? I'm just completing these quests real quick, and then... If I... Okay, because I might buy it to make it easier. Bye! Sorry to keep you a little later. Have a good nap. Get the next. This will actually. 275. I need to get everything to 275. So what am I at? 260? Okay. And 265. So I only need 10 more of these. Interesting. How much is flying at 60 or 58? One of the two. I think it's 60 though. Oh, you can't buy it here. You have to buy it. Oh, you can. Relax. How much is it? Two twenty-five. God damn it! Of Man. course it's two twenty-five. It's not cheap. Of course it has to be expensive. <sighs> oh, he got back to me. Cause no, I just asked him if every healer is gonna go to Old War week one, just so I know in advance, because I told him it's my sit week that week. And uh just to see if I have to pug look for a pug or not that week. So they write they plan on doing Old War Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday until we get Yogg down. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So... Tuesday... Tuesday would have to be our 10-man runs. <laughs> Tuesday morning. Literally raiding every day of the week besides weekends. This is gonna be fun. Sounds like a job. Yours sounds like a job. Anyways, I I need a break from WoW. I've been doing too much leveling. I hit 58. The stupid- I have a week for this uh, stupid buff. Still. I have a week. I'm done playing WoW for the day. I'm probably gonna play Anna later. Off stream to just relax my mind. I'm hungry. I need to eat. Yeah. It took me four and a half hours to get two levels because of 57 to 58 was fucking... Nah, no. I'm done. I need a break. Tomorrow is Final Fantasy Day, which I'm so glad it is. So I can do Final Fantasy stuff. If I can finally. I might even log on sometime today and do some Final Fantasy dungeons. Who knows? But... I also need to make that list for this stupid demo demo video as well. So I have a bit of stuff to do today. And laundry. Life of an adult. Anyways, I need to head out for the day. I will be live tomorrow for Final Fantasy. And we'll have fun tomorrow doing that stuff. So, yeah. 
I will see you guys on tomorrow. It'll be a lovely Tuesday. Um, but I might do the dailies on WoW and then switch over to Final Fantasy, just so at least my dailies are done. Um, anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have a good Monday. Bye.